Hello, I'm Joe Maganello with your WDT News Week in Review for November 7th, 2014. Today's first story, Colleen O'Neill wins the bid for Jefferson County Sheriff. Reported by Daniel Flatley on Wednesday, O'Neill became the first female sheriff in New York State. A former state trooper, O'Neill was transferred to the Watertown Bureau of Criminal Investigations in 2001 after working for Governor George Pataki. She was then promoted to senior investigator of the Alexandria Bay BCI unit in 2009 before retiring in 2012. John Byrne and Addie Russell look to the absentee ballot count as the deciding factor in the 116th Assembly race. Reported by Daniel Flatley on Thursday, Byrne was pronounced the winner Tuesday night after claiming 48% of the vote, ahead of Russell by only 117 votes. But there are 2,652 absentee ballots left to be tallied in the district, 1,195 in St. Lawrence and 1,457 in Jefferson. Absentee ballots must have been postmarked by November 3rd and are due to the Jefferson and St. Lawrence County Boards of Elections no later than November 12th. Military ballots must be received by November 17th. Spending increased over the course of the 2014 NY21 race, reported by Daniel Flatley on Friday, Elise Stefanik, who became the youngest woman ever elected to Congress on Tuesday, ran a campaign that spent $1.4 million through the October 15th filing deadline. This is in comparison to her Democratic opponent, Aaron Wolf, whose campaign spent $1.6 million over the same period. Green Party candidate Matthew Funicello, who came in a distant third place, had just $20,849 spent on his campaign. The Sprague home of a prominent Santa performer, Burns. Gordon Block reported on Friday, just as Vernon Phillips was preparing for another Christmas season in the North Country, he lost his home, his gear, and his freshly dry clean suit and hat. No people were hurt, but Phillips' eldest cat was killed. Phillips was already getting ready for his first Santa appearance of the season at a store in Utica on November 14th. And our final story today, a drone found on Wesley Island was returned to its owner after a cross-river flight. Ted Booker reported on Thursday, the owner of the drone imagined he had lost his property to the St. Lawrence River after losing sight of it, but a cottage owner who summers on the island had placed a notice on abay.com after the drone landed in his driveway. The odds of the drone missing the water and landing in the driveway of someone honorable enough not to sell it, said the owner, were, quote, one in a thousand. Well, you can find all the stories we talked about today on the webcast online. Go to watertowndailytimes.com or find us on Twitter at WDT News. And you can find us on Facebook searching the Watertown Daily Times. Well, for your WDT News, I'm Joe Manganiello.